This chart is for HSBC Bank. Now what we've done is we've looked at the long term chart and we've identified some horizontal trend lines. Now these at these prices are going to be important. Every time that we notice a few bounces and good reactions from these prices we mark a line across. And stock market charts such as these have a habit of respecting these lines. You can see a few times we've tried to get above the same price and failed so that is a key resistance point. Around £6.20 is where we are pretty much expecting HSBC to hit because historically that is an area of support. We've also got reason at £6 to suggest there may well be a support line, but traders don't always know if a support line is going to hold, but you need to identify where these trend lines are so that when the market comes down you know that is a significant price. To really get a taste of what's likely to happen at the present moment, you need to look at the most recent bit of the chart. Arguably you could have a bit of a head and shoulders going on here, not quite sure that's actually what's developing, but if it is, we could see prices as low as £6. We have been building a series of bear flags, very long bear flags, which is rare, but we are expecting a bounce at 620 so this would be a high risk strategy because at the moment the trend is down but you may well get a bounce at 620. there is reason to suggest there is some support at six pounds per share but at around 570 there is strong support if we do get to that price we would be buying quite aggressively on hsbc you can see a few signs that we've taught you on the ebook as to work out how important a trend line is and at 570 it ticks a hell of a lot of boxes so if we do get to 620 on hsbc we would expect a bounce so if we suggest that this is a head and shoulders formation because it does definitely resemble a head and shoulders formation the first thing we need to do in order to work out a projection technique is to draw the midline now with this one it looks like the midline is horizontal and this is the midline when the market got below the midline, it went up and back tested it and failed. That is another clue that you've drawn the correct midline. You're not guaranteed a back test, and back tests are far less common in down markets. However, the projection that we've got is around £6.10. And how we've done that is by measuring the top of the highest formed head and shoulders down to the midline. You then use that distance and extend it downwards where the price broke the midline. That gives us a projection target of around £6.10 per share on HSBC. So in summary of this chart, this share chart has pretty much respected horizontal trend lines and it's pretty much traded within them. You must pay attention to the underlying trend and since this sort of time frame, the trend has been up arguably we've seen a reversal pattern and now the trend is down so we don't want to be going against that trend you'd be better off selling rallies but if you do want to buy shares then you need to pay attention to only the strong horizontal trend lines one being at six pounds 20 and the other five pounds 77 ish if you do buy at £6.20, you would have to be nimble and be willing to sell into the next rally because you would expect a lower low as long as the trend stays down.